Hey guys, so um, I wanted to do a tutorial on uh, how to uh, set up a Pivx wallet, back it up properly, and start staking. So, and also go through a few things that uh, can cause your wallet to have problems. So, um, to get the wallet, you want to come over here to the Pivx website. I'll have uh, links to everything in the uh, description. Let's come over to the Pivx website, click on Get Pivx, and then Wallet, and you come down, and it has all the wallets for the different uh, operating systems. I'm on uh, Windows 64 so um, that's the one that I've got now I also wanted to let you know if you cannot get uh, Windows 64 bit Windows working use the 32 bit um, a few people can't get this one to work so they they use this the 32 it works just fine I've already downloaded this so I'm not going to download anything uh, just uh, for the sake of keeping up time Anyway, uh, this is the new version, version uh, 2.1.7, okay. Uh, it's an official non-mandatory but highly recommended update. Uh, we're just, I'm just going to breeze through it real quick. Uh, the change log says stability fixes, uh, fix re-index, UI trans uh, transaction shorting update, uh, multi send fix checkpoint added uh, update translations it has a little how to right here you can check that, if, that out if you want it's right here at the pivx.org on the forums this is a forum thread anyway so let's go over to my actually want, let's get this I want to have that nice pivx background while we're doing this all right so we go over here and here's here's what I've uh, downloaded right here so here's my uh, Pivx uh, 2.1.7 Windows 64 zip and uh, you uh, when you download this and you try and install a lot of times you're gonna have problems with uh, antivirus uh, no, I had a problem with Windows antivirus uh, on a machine uh, I've had uh, problems with uh, Avast uh, checking it out so I just have uh, made an exception for the wallet on the machines uh, after I've installed it so let's uh, start doing this let's install it and here we go installation is really easy just go through what uh, you know everything it says here just uh, you know click 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 okay it'll come to this point right here then you push next run pivx core okay We got it running in the background. Just wait for it to load up. There we go starting to go all right so now when you uh, first start it up you're gonna notice that it's out of sync and uh, down here do this we are nine days behind so and uh, we can see right here that right there tells you I got one active connection right now so that'll build it'll build it'll build the nine days so let's let's get this wallet up and working right now 
let's uh, let's do what we need to do in order to uh, to get this wallet functioning correct so we got to go to uh, settings and we're gonna go to encrypt wallet okay and then we're gonna type in a passphrase okay then hit OK okay it gives you a warning that if you lose your passphrase you, you'll lose all your pivots let it sit let it get some time sometimes it looks seems like this part right here is uh, locked up but it's not it's just going through and encrypting the entire all of the wallet Oh, I kind of made a mistake here. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not. Okay. It's encrypting. I didn't do uh, 10 or more random characters um, or 8 or more random words, uh, but it's still encrypting the wallet. There we go. Wallet is encrypted. You can see that takes a little bit of time. Okay. Uh, but you just got to be patient. It looks like it's not doing anything, but it is. You just wait till this this uh, window pops up right here and uh, tells you right here that your, your wallet's encrypted. Uh, any previous backups uh, will no longer work because you've changed the encryption. So um, make sure reading all of this and, and and you understand it. So then you push OK. The wallet will shut down. OK. I can go down here and we go to Pivx Core. And here it is right here. Start the wallet back up. So we now have our wallet is encrypted, okay, and we have, uh, we are now in, at nine days behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, okay, and uh, let this uh, fully sync up, and then we're going to put some PIVX in it, and uh, show you how to stake. All right, guys. So you can see here uh, that my wallet is uh, all synced up. 
and uh, is uh, ready to be used. But we still need to do um, some more things. Uh, we need to uh, make a backup of the wallet. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to options. Wait a minute. I'm oh, sorry. It is file. And then backup wallet. So uh, click on that. It asks you where you want to back it up to. And uh, I'm just going to back it up to my downloads right now. And that's the wallet dat file. Oh, we got to give it a name. So, back up. There we go. So now it just backed up the wallet, all the private keys and everything. Um, also, right here, it'll tell you that it's backed up. Okay. Let's go check it out. There it is. Back up that. Also, when you're backing up your wallet, I want you to, you know, keep two files. So, um, I want you to go to your local disk where you're keeping it. Oh no, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Uh, I got too many disks on here. We need to go to. Alright. Local disk users uh, whoever uh, you got the wallet put in as go to that okay and uh, I got administrator okay oh now I'm having a hard time finding it apps so you're going to go to this PC local disk apps wait a minute what is going on here okay there's where my problem is. It's uh, default migrated on this computer. Okay, so whatever you're uh, um, controlling, you know the the what your login is. Whoever you're logging in as, you click on that, right? Then go to App Data. Uh, no, 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 no. What the heck is going on here? Okay. Let me see. It's installed it in a completely different place on this uh, computer. Let me pause this and I'll find it. Okay, guys. Let me show you where I I I thought I had this. Uh, in order to do this. I want you to, in your file explorer, go over here to options right here, okay, and uh, click on it, and go to view right here, 
and see here it says don't show hidden folders and drives and all that I want you to click that to show hidden folders and drives apply then OK all right now we're gonna go to whatever your local disk is okay we're gonna go down to users okay and then we're gonna go to the user that uh, this is installed in and we're gonna go to app data roaming and we're gonna go down to Pivx right here all right see this one right here I want you to copy it and I want you to keep a backup of this file right here this is a very important file if you want to recover your wallet as well so um, I like doing it this way so then uh, we're gonna gonna I'm just gonna put this in downloads for now because this is just a a temporary wallet okay so we got our wallet dat we got our backup dat okay all right now we've got everything back we've got our two backups right here now so it's time to uh, put some pivx in here so I've went over to the um, cryptopia and uh, I went and bought some pivx earlier I got six okay so let's take that uh, six pivx and let's put it in this wallet so uh, we can we can click on receive and receive it this way right request payment or whatever or we can go over here to file right receiving addresses right here we can click on that okay so I just copied it let's go over here to Cryptopia we got our PIVX I want to withdraw the amount and uh, we can check that address right there I just checked the last the first and last so it's uh, OD EC let's go over to my PIVX wallet that's not correct see that there we go always double check guys DJ Q DJ Q there it is right there and I don't know why it's not getting it ends with EC EC all right let's uh, oh I'm putting it in the wrong window might help if I put it in the wrong right one huh all right so let's just uh, I believe we can just click on the max there okay and uh, we'll submit it okay I have to uh, confirm the withdrawal and uh, I'm gonna pause the video real quick and I'll be right back okay so I just um, confirmed the withdrawal and uh, you can see right here that the PIVX is gone we should uh, be seeing it show up any moment now in my wallet as soon as uh, you'll see in the background right here I'll have a pop-up saying that it is uh, being sent 
I haven't seen that yet and then we'll see it show up over here there it just sent and Rick look at there it's in that shows you how fast that is so it's pending usually takes a couple seconds and uh, it will be in my wallet and available there it is it's in so now you want to stake this let me show you how to stake it okay so we're gonna go to settings unlock wallet okay we're gonna click uh, for automized staking automization staking only okay we're gonna press put in our password okay and after a few minutes we should see this right here should turn green and then we're staking I'm gonna pause the video or well you know if this doesn't stake because I've had it to where it does not start staking nice um, if after a few minutes after about five minutes it doesn't start staking uh, close your wallet out reopen it let it sync up to the blockchain and try staking again and that usually fixes the issue which usually it takes about a minute and this will turn green uh, showing that you're you're staking so so I'm just waiting on that I'm going to pause the video and wait for it for a few minutes so you guys don't just have to sit here and stare at a, a, this screen, okay? Alright guys, I waited a little bit. As you can see, it's still not staking. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out the wallet, okay? Alright. And then... not up here so we'll go down to it oh where are you at there you are and we'll get her running Every time you start it up, it's got to resynchronize with the blockchain. So, uh, depending on how long you haven't, you know, if you haven't had it open for a little while, it's going to take longer. So, and uh, if you're recovering from a wallet crash, I'll show you that here pretty soon. But when you recover from a wallet crash, it won't initially show your transactions until it hits those blocks. Don't get scared. You, you know. As long as you've backed everything up proper, you will have, everything will be there. So it's synchronizing. Um, I can go over here to the settings and I can unlock the wallet right now and uh, set it up. So uh, 
uh, now that now I've done that so uh, this this uh, as soon as it's synchronized uh, shortly thereafter it should start staking and as you can see you know I only had it off for, for a very short time so it synchronizes very fast let it go we're almost there While this is synchronizing, uh, I wanted to show you something that if uh, if your wallet ends up closing uh, uh, improper due to you know a lot of people are getting you know their Windows is updating their computer or maybe the electricity goes out or something like that. Uh, what'll happen is uh, your Pivx wallet will fail to open correctly. And uh, what I want to do is I want to show you how you can recover from that because um, it'll shut it down. Windows will say it's waiting for it'll wait for a repair or whatnot. You'll get different uh, variety of uh, uh, issues or you know that are stated. So what you do, okay, is uh, go to you know your computer go to your local disk C right go down to users okay hit on the uh, one that the wallet is is uh, stored on and remember you also have to have you know your you gotta do the view in your options and you have to select hidden folders you know so that uh, we can see those okay so uh, I'm under administrator, then app data, roaming. You roll, go down, and you'll find Pivx. Okay. Now, if your Pivx is, is crashed when it starts, okay. What I want you to do is, well, it's not running. I'm not going to do it because this is this is running in the background. But you see here, you got blocks. I want you to delete that whole file and chain state delete that whole file okay and then you can close this out and uh, you can restart the app and what will happen is it'll it'll start building all of that up it'll start downloading it and building it um, now I didn't use the links that I've got to uh, rebuild that faster um, you can replace those with uh, there's downloads and you just replace them in there uh, and I will leave a link to that that you can replace those two files with and see it looks like I'm not synchronizing completely here so what I'm going to do let's see if I looked here it's I'd be looking at the process blocks and it's uh, and let's see if it changes 
it's not changing okay so for some reason it's stuck right there so I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna close it and we'll reopen it and just remember you uh, as long as you've backed up your wallet how I've showed you you can uh, and you keep those backup files you can erase your whole wallet you know, if you're having a, so many problems and, it, and you're, it gets corrupt, you can erase everything and uh, rebuild the whole thing off of those uh, those two files. You only really need one of them, but we're backing up both of them to make sure that we have uh, two copies in case one of them is corrupt. Okay, here we go. We're synchronizing and. If you need to get uh, Pivx, you know the exchange that I I use is Cryptopia. So all you need is an email address to get in. Uh, quite a good little exchange. I like it. All right, so let's. And I'll pause it right now and come back when it's it's all synced up and then we'll uh, start uh, staking alright guys so the wallets all synced up let's unlock it and start staking So it should take a couple minutes and uh, this right here will turn green and we'll be staking. So I'll pause the video and come back when it's staking. Alright guys, um, this, I forgot another step and so what we need to do is we need to go to tools, uh, open configuration, uh, and we want to open it with notepad okay and we want to put staking equals one in here and save it okay and then we should be able to stake with the wallet. So uh, we'll just wait for that to turn green. I'll pause the video. Alright guys, as you can see the wallet is staking and uh, let me show you what I did is uh, on my particular uh, computer um, I had to add in some this is all, once in a great while you have to do this so if you're doing it and you put in here and you put the staking like I showed you uh, just staking equals one and you start it and it doesn't work okay then what I want you to do is I want you to put in the rest of this information but see here I have my own information that I put right here you don't want to use this you want to use the rest of it and then add in your own information your own username and your own password right here okay 
I'll leave a copy of all of this so that you can uh, just copy and paste it in my uh, in the description of the video and that's in that's just uh, under tools okay go down and open configuration file and that's that right there if you open it for the first time like I did earlier it's gonna ask you uh, what to open it with uh, go and use notepad okay but I'll put this in the uh, description I'm really sorry that uh, this was a long video I didn't expect it to be this long it took me uh, between doing stuff around here and uh, all the stuff I had to do around the house and uh, doing this it, it took me all day uh, syncing up the wallet and everything but I hope that this helps somebody um, if it does that's awesome uh, so make sure you check out my Zcash giveaway um, Genesis mining codes are in the in the description I give the uh, Genesis mining codes of everybody that I'm going to use and I, there's also my Genesis mining code there I also have uh, donation uh, addresses you can give me a you can give me a PIVX donation if you want I got a Bitcoin donation uh, and several others so if you don't see something and you want to donate a certain coin just let me know and I'll I'll definitely get the wallet to do it anyway that's how you do it guys it's all set up and running um, I'm gonna take this and uh, I'm gonna probably push this over to my main uh, computer that I keep running 24 hours a day uh, to stake I don't know I so I could leave it on here but uh, I don't know anyway so I hope that helped you out and remember give it a the video a thumbs up you have a good day.